again YouTube. Welcome to another video on the Manta. I'm in the garage to <laughs> film in my intro in front of the Escort because it's too windy outside to get a get some decent sound quality. So all you're going to get out there is <laughs> some trying to do the intro. So I gave up on it. So in today's video, you'll see the repairs to the door pillow on the Manta. Um, and it really does highlight how bad cars can be under what looks like a decent skin. So as you start hacking away at them and getting the grinders on them and cleaning them up, suddenly what looks like a tidy part of the panel is actually quite uh, quite holy. So it's a good insight into how, how that happens and what, what it can be like. So And don't despair if that's what you find. It's just it's just the way it is. It's just the nature of the beast with, uh, with classic car restoration. So you'll see how what we do with that and um, the repairs in the door pillar. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite the full repair I was hoping to do because it's, the rot is going in a bit too close into the windscreen than, uh, than I'm comfortable with to try and repair it with the windscreen in place. So the windscreen will have to come out and the, now the time of year we're get, getting into autumn and, and dodgy weather. I'll have to, I think we'll wait to do that in the spring. So we we'll see, see, uh, see how that pans out. But uh, there's plenty, plenty to have got on with, with this video. So I've, I've uh, put that together. And I hope you enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching. Again, thank you very much for our subscribers. I was, it seems like only yesterday I was, I was all excited about having 2,000 subscribers. And we're hundreds past that now. So that's, that's incredible. Really, I'm, I'm constantly humbled by how many people are, are following the channel. And, and enjoy it. And, and, and uh, commenting as well. So please keep that up. And please do subscribe if you're not a subscriber because I know many people will watch these channels and, I, and I'm guilty of it myself watch channels and, and just keep on watching the same channel but, but forget to subscribe so if you're one of those please please become a subscriber well, thanks for watching and see you at the end let's see what we can do with this lot here the bottom not too bad but as we get up to here that's pretty crusty that's pretty horrible and up there is pretty horrible. Well, at least this car is being consistent because this is also had the doily effect on here so that's quite a lot more of a repair on that than I first thought it was going to be so I think what I'll do is work from the bottom up and get this lot sorted first and then work our way up up to there Pile of off cuts. Let's see what fits. Right, I thought I'd stop and explain what I'm doing here. So, got it tucked into the corner there. So I'm just going to put a, a, a seam well down the corner there, and I'm tacking this as I'm going, and then cutting it with slitting disc, so that I drop in, so we can get a nice butt weld along there. So that'll be a nice fit. I probably, you see why I put that tack up in there because that was flinging out as I was trying to use a grinder. But uh, I may cut that off because as I work up to that, that's going to start rippling. But we'll we'll get to that in a second. But hopefully you can see what I'm what I'm gaining here by doing that and keeping that as a flush panel in there.
Right, that's that welding up, up up through there. Some of the welds are a bit dirtier than others because welding outside, occasionally the, the, the gas gets blown away. It's a bit awkward to make a shield to stop that happening because then you won't see what I'm doing. So <laughs> where it is going through that gat, you can get a close up of that one. Yeah, you can see how dirty that weld is there. That's just because the shielding gas has been blown away, but what we'll do is grind that off and see what it looks like and touch it up if we have to. Right, that's okay. As it happens, that ground back and the welds are quite acceptable enough, so that's good news. We can start on to the next bit. Next little bit done. If I come out, you'll see I've added a bit of cardboard to the edge here to try and mitigate against the sparks hitting the glass. Right, in an effort to try and keep our shapes here, what I'm going to try and do is work on this one strip at a time. So we've got an edge there that should carry on up around through there. So I'll work out a plate to go in there and replace that piece. Then work our way in. There's another plate in there which sort of goes in to that shape. And then we're working our way in. It's not essentially important that it's perfect. But it'd be nice to be somewhere close. Something sort of like that. Okay, that's not a million miles off. So if we cut that across there. And down the edge there. We're onto something. That's revealed a bit more nastiness underneath there, so we're going to have to repair that before we go any further. But with that cut out now, you can see that. Oh, where is it? There's the right piece gone. Get the right piece in there. That piece there will fit nicely into that, and then we can work our way over to the next bit. But before we do that, time to attack that. Now this is a happy coincidence. This next piece here is the offcut from this piece, which will fit nicely on that bit next. And that'll give us the shape around there as well. So it's nice when these little happy things happen. Saves a bit of work. But before we fit them, gotta fix that. Okay, so different day. It started to get a bit dark the other day, it started raining. So I'll clean this out with a Who's this? Who's this? Well, look who it is. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Aid. Hello. Aid's come to show off his new exhaust. <laughs> okay, distraction over. Aid's come to pinch some nuts and bolts off me because he's fitted a new exhaust and he's lost some nuts somewhere. So, clean this back, crime bit. Just going to dirty weld a chunk into there and hammer it over. That's all clean metal in there now. Just needs a bit of bit, bit of something over it to tidy it up. Okay, now that's got rid of that obnoxious hole there. Let's carry on with what we were doing.
Right, there we have it, all welded in. And a, a quick blast of primer over it, just to hold back the surface rust as best we can. I've got to touch up the weld up there a little bit more, but I'll come back to that. I think I'll uh, start on the next section now and work our way down around into towards the door hinge there. Right, so what we're looking at, I don't know if you can see that, but we've got a drill line up there. I'm going to take this to the vise now and see if I can bring this up to give that a bit of a kick up there. So we've got a bit of a kick there you want to bring up around there. I don't want to do this in a, a welded several pieces because it's going to be difficult to get the welder in there. But if I can bring this up to join on that end, I can certainly get a weld onto that face there. There is a slight curve on this, so I can't just clamp it into the vise and try and get over. So I'm going to use this, which has got a greater curve than I need, but it helped me just to bend it over. So I'm going to do that. It's difficult for me to set the camera up to do this, so maybe I can do it from above now. Hey, let's see how close we are with this one. I'm getting a reference from the other side. It's what this side should look like or close enough. And it sort of starts off flat down here. It sort of fades away. It fades into the bend here. So let's see if we can get some of this out of the way, <clears throat> help us work out where this has got to go. Right, we're getting there slowly, trying to capture this shape as best we can. Right, I don't think we're a million miles off there now. So I'm not expecting perfection, because it's all out of sight. But, but it, those little creases do put strength into it. So it'd be nice to have them where they belong, as best we can. Now see, I don't know if you can see on the camera there, there's quite a gap there. So I'm gonna sort of weld this into that gap with a little bit of steel basically and cut it off as I as I'm done with it. Right, do so just a bit of a mix match to fill up this <coughs> this gap that's appeared here now.
Right, there we go. That's that all welded in. Not the most attractive welding on the planet, but we'll soon grind that off and make that a bit more attractive. Right, well there's the strength back in the door pillar. Still got a bit of work to do up here and around here. And it, uh, that's going to be a challenge to do that with the windscreen in place. So we'll, I'll have to have a think about that. The next thing I'm going to do is get the wing back on and see if it still fits. That part done, the wing fits quite nicely. Uh, I'm going to chuck a bit of black paint on that now, just to tidy that up and keep the keep the rust at bay. Along there. Right, that's a bit of stone chip black thrown at it. And you can see now by making these pieces here piecemeal. We've sort of replicated the shape that was there before. Uh, we can get in behind there, but you can. We've gone into there quite nicely, into there. So that's certainly put some strength back into there, and up in that bit down there as well. So I think that's enough for this video. We'll. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to get on to tackling this because I'm going to have to do that with the windscreen out, and we're starting to get into autumn now, and the weather's not so. Uh, helpful uh, and I can see me having to put the mantra away in my little lock up for the winter not you know, before long so we'll see how we get on with that well once again many thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you've got any comments please do comment if you've got any projects if you're doing a manta or an escort yourself or anything any any classic cars you're doing let us know we can uh, have a chat about it I'll uh, certainly enjoy talking to people who are doing the same sort of thing as I'm doing and, uh, and that's all I can say is a big thank you for, for watching and subscribing.